We have found Oswald, the old elf that we have been asked to find weeks ago, back when we first set foot in Nekataka in Queen's Birth. Khan, a woman searching for Oswald in the Wild Mare, the inn in Queen's Birth, says that he owes her 5,000 copper. She promised to share a good amount. I believe that we agreed to 40% to be my share if I returned it to her. That's 2,000 copper for us. Not bad, I'd say. It really pays to be diplomatic and insightful. This and looting everything we can from the pyramid all adds up to quite a bit in the end. Yes, money. We need it, and a lot of it. But, as I have previously said a few times, it isn't my overall goal. Not like it was before my death. After this pyramid, and perhaps searching around for a bit in this island, we'll go to the Royal Deadfire settlement of Fosango. We must be sure to have Maya Rua with us when we go there, as I am sure that she will have a lot of input on the place, since it is her people after all. Exploring, fighting, plundering, playing pirate, assassinating a pirate captain. It's all a lot of fun, at least so far. So long as we don't start losing people. All the people that died at Cad Nua, well, that sits with me. And it's heavy. Aethys, we will get to you soon. Huh? Oswald. Mm -hmm. What's been happening? Why were you taken here? What did you do? I owe you a debt too large to repay, stranger. He wrings his hands and gives me a shaky smile. How did you ever find me all the way out here? Did Inalis send you? Hmm. Khan sent me after you, actually. That tenacious little wretch. I owe her my thanks. And a drink. Several drinks. And a fair bit of money, too. He grimaces, his broad brow furrowed with deep wrinkles. Those steel garrot zealots have been after me for decades. Good riddance. You owe Khan some money. Fork it over. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, indeed. His attention is suddenly diverted by an apparently fascinated stain on the hem of his robe. You're broke, aren't you? Yes. Unfortunate business mishap. You uh, know how it is, I'm sure. Ak, I know what happens to those who don't pay their debts in the republics. She narrows her eyes at the man who is growing increasingly agitated with each passing moment. He titters nervously and twists the hem of his robe in his hands, unwilling to meet my eye. <sighs> Look, I really stuck my neck out here. You did risk life and limb for me, it's true. And make no mistake, I am grateful. Really, really grateful, believe me. I would give you something, if I could. His eyes take on a faraway look, and he takes in a deep breath. Well, that's not entirely true, is it? I have this old ring. It's the last possession of any value I own. Here, Ugh. take it for your trouble. He presses a simple length of string twisted into a makeshift ring into my palm and nods, a small frown tugging at the corner of his lips. Length of string twisted in a makeshift ring. You have a ship, don't you? Of course you do. How else would you have gotten to this benighted island? He shifts his weight from foot to foot, restless and unsettled. Let me join your crew. <laughs> Why did the Inquisitor have you on trial exactly? After what you did for me, well, I... I suppose you have the right to hear the truth of things. The whole truth, rather. Oswald clears his throat with a theatrical flair. You remember that the Deerwood was once a colony of Adia, yes? Well, I was one of the first colonies to set foot on that benighted continent. Oh, that's my home. When it became evident the Deerwood intended to revolt, I took their side in the War of Defiance against the country of my birth. I'm sure you'll be astounded to learn the powers that be in Adia didn't much like that. The Steel Garot's been after me for my grave transgression ever since. <laughs> so you know that was over 150 years ago. They've been hunting you all this time. Those Steel Garot hounds are relentless. It seems so. Multi-generational relentless. 
But it should be a couple of years before they find me again, thanks to you. At least, I hope as much. His shoulders slump. <sighs> what could you offer as a member of my crew? It's no secret I'm an old man. Now, I might not be able to hoist a mainsail any longer, but I've picked up a thing or two about navigation in my decades of traveling. He bounces back in his heels, every word coming faster than the last. And I don't care much for coin, I can tell you that. An extra ration of rum here and there and I'll be perfectly contented. Hmm. We actually do need a navigator. We've got a... we do have a navigator, but she's not, uh, not the best. I'm hoping that he's more skilled than that. Welcome aboard, Oswald. Thank you, my friend. I owe you a debt twice over. He gives me a toothy grin and stands a hand's breadth taller. <laughs> Check for traps. Will do. A statue of Woodica extends so far below, below me that I can't see its feet. It's old. This scroll of nature's mark. A light, the Light of Dawn, uh, Riyadh Saren Morality Play, Part 1, Charity and Generosity. That's some gold. Well, that wall, we couldn't get through up above, but I am very curious to know what it was that it was holding inside on the other side of it. So this is just the way up. Okay. There's more to this floor. Go and look for traps ahead. Right. Happy to oblige. Yeah. Nothing over here. Enemies. Oh, who's this? Oh, some kind of rot, rotting fiend. Yeah, they move slow. Disgusting things. Yeah, I don't even want to pick through it. Sure. What's this? The water rolls royals with the teeming of countless tiny maggots. Oh. Are they putting their dead in here or something? Oh. There's a corpse here. Oh, the smell in this room is horrid. Guessing by the thick layer of dust on these stone slabs, they haven't been used recently. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh. Reminds me of the undercity. The old city, I should say. Alright, let's go back to that wall. Try again. Oh, this is an area that we didn't go and search down. It's a looks like a meditation chamber. There's a big pool in the room. So we came from the stairs up. Search that caretaker's quarters. Where all the rotting fiends are. Mm -hmm. Tread quietly. I feel there's danger in this room. It's a corpse over there. I wouldn't go in that water. I don't know what's down there. Something moving in there. Black ooze is coming out. Pelagina. Just like that. Let's go. Well, that's over with. 
Ooze plasma. Well, Shorty says you can use that. Oops, I took a bunch of items off whatever this corpse right. was. And it keeps on going over here. Away from this fetid water. Is that ahead? It's a Zorup ahead. How far does this place go? The Zorup chitters angrily at me. Well, probably going to be in for a fight if we go this way. But I think we can do it. It's I just a, a lot of Zorups. Hey, let them come to us. To the right. Well, they fall pretty fast. Ah, uh, we're gonna need some magic here. A lot of it. You don't mind, Aloth? I wish I could. Ah, come on, get over there. Magic. Nice hit. That is a, a lot of flames. You hurt them real bad. Okay, uh, I don't think I'm the one that should be charging head first into there. Sure. Nice hit, if I do say so, for myself. <laughs> Quarter staff, claws, leathery wings, Zorp tongue. Spears, brass teal, or something. Hunting bow. Sure. Well, we might find more of them, but that was a, quite the battle. And we triumphed. Fresh fruit, fire kelp. It's food we can use on the ship. Thief's putty? That might help me, actually. Small shield, there's 115 is out of shell. Worth a cop, one copper each. What's this? Looking Look looking right. for traps. Old pistol, lock picks. Oh, who's this over here? Is a corpse. Ordinary sword. Huh. Well, could always sell it. It's worth money. Okay, let's go back to that wall. Try to bring it down this time. However we can. Wish we had explosives, actually. That could help. Okay, I want this wall brought down. Will do. The crash of time has significantly weakened this section of the wall. There is a slight breeze coming through the cracks between the stone. I suspect that the wall might come down, right down, with a little bit of force. Bomb the wall with a grenade. Oh, that brought it down. I'm just gonna have to rest for a while because of the injury to my shoulder now. Don't see any traps. Oh, Ungulant of Animalism. Garnet, silver fenning. Six copper pieces each, and there's 125 of them. Okay, so the stairs up are over this way. Gotta get over there now. Let's get back. Well, we don't have to go back to this ship. I think there was a little bit more of the island to go and search through. Oh, we did it. 
Wasn't that difficult. I think we're getting a lot better. In combat, at least. Don't know if take on that giant thing that's protecting the, uh... What is that? The stone? It's not a stone slab. The piece. The mosaic. That, uh... The piece that Dario was looking for. The the mosaic in the old temple under the in the old city. Nice to return to the surface after spending some time old. Falling apart pyramid. I received an important missive from Captain Adolis. Let's read this. Wine and gunpowder scented letter. So, you had a little run-in with Ben, and then you dragged it to my doorstep. You could have wiped your feet before you stomped in, but I digress. I know what you did, and I know who you are. And unlike my unfortunately block-headed second-in-command, I recognize a threat when it smacks me upside the head. So, this is me, Captain Adelis. This is the, uh... She was in charge of Fort Deadlight, the pirate... Haven? Fort? Whatever you want to call it. And, uh, Captain Benwith, the one who I had assassinated, he was under her. Apparently. So, she obviously knows what I did. She's commander of the goddamn new Blood Principe, leader of the second largest fleet of pirates in the God's fucking Deadfire. Inviting me, a terrifyingly powerful and strange watcher, to come and meet me under the strictest, strictest parlay at Fort Deadlight. Which is to say, I promise not to gut you when you arrive for dinner and drinks. Looking forward to having a little hearthside chat. I would like to offer you a partnership of the most glorious and goriest variety. I scratch your back, you gut my enemies from hip to jaw. We laugh at their deaths over a bottle of, our, of the finest rum. Oh, and when you come, bring some candied nuts. Your newest and dearest friend, Adelis. P.S. is not a trap. I think it is a trap. <laughs> I mean, I suppose we could always go and see what it brings, but I think it's a trap, personally. What's this? Old Battleground. It isn't always easy to judge who fought or why, but what belongings the dead leave behind is a legacy that anyone can claim. Let's just hope it's not haunted. The sight of a recent battle spreads before me. The bodies of the routed force still lie where they fell. Though most have been picked clean by scavenging beasts. Let's search the location. Three hours pass. Find nothing of value. Let's keep searching. Four hours pass. Gained a club. It's a weapon in better shape than I would have expected. Okay, let's keep searching. Two hours pass. Find a bundle of unused scrolls bearing arcane runes and incantations. Let's keep searching. Four more hours ago. Find nothing of value. I've wandered the length of the battlefield. There's nothing left of any value. What a desolate island with pretty much nothing on it. There's no green. I've seen a few islands like this out in the dead fire. Give me an island with green water, trees, grass. I've also seen islands like that. And that's where I would choose to say stay. So let's let's change up. Who's with us? Um, definitely Maya Rua. I don't know, we have such a good working group. But, um... I mean, I don't really want to get rid of Aloth. Let's bring him in. He, he can heal. And he can cause d damage with his spells. He is a druid, he does both. And he can shape change to Kehu. hate to do this, but... And there's some other people here, like Merc, Idwin, Constan. Yeah, we haven't brought any of them out with us, but they are on the ship. Just don't know how good of a fighters they'll be for us. Mm. 
Valian Trading Company. So I plan to go to Hasongo, which is to the northwest. Well, here we are. Okay. I hope find desolation. Atsura asked me to train a crop of new sailors. Well, you've been here before. Maya surveys the wreckage of Hasongo, betraying no clear emotion. Pelagina nods, the corner of her mouth turning to a faint grin. Shoti lifts her chin in interest. Takehu worries one of his hairs bef between two fingers. Guess the sharpshooting lesson was wasted. Should have spent that time talking about home. I'm sorry, Maya. We'll do whatever we can to avenge them. Nodding, Maya strikes a salute to the ruins of Hasongo. She holds that position for a lingering moment. Then stands at ease with a sigh. What's in the water there? That doesn't look like any kith I recognize. It looks like a as a snake for a tail. Is that a naga? Unless there's another colossus. There is another one here. So there was a battle. But look, it looks like Eowyn was here. And the Naka came after, but there were defenders here. So perhaps there's still some people alive. Let's fight these creatures. Take them down. I've never seen one of these things before. Green blood? Coral Naga Sword. So it is a Naga. Reptilian Eye. Great Sword. Two-handed. I wonder. Since you use two-handed weapons, could this be better than what you have? Oh, she says it's not. And she's also used... Pelagina is also used to this Great Sword. Okay. Well, let's search for survivors. This one was not killed by Aethys, but these up here do look like they were. You got the decency to die. Water. Oh, good. Hard tack, rice wine, things we can use. All right, let's go in here. I have to start searching for survivors and kill any other naga we come across. Maybe they came to loot. Oh, there's some survivors. An Amoa woman whirls towards me, her eyes wide and wild. Her uniform is disheveled, as if from several days' wear, and her breath comes in rapid gasps. With her are a few wounded soldiers and a huddle of commoners in dirt-stained farmer's smocks. Shut the door, quick, before the Naga get in. It's already closed, but her eyes seem to be staring beyond it. The soldiers look up, too. Their faces are drawn with pain and exhaustion, their eyes rimmed red and gray. It's alright, I'm here to help. We're the finest soldiers and cannoneers in Aora. We don't need anything. Her hand starts to tremble at her side. There's something unusual about her brittle confidence, distant stare and shaking hand. I've seen it plenty of times my old life as a mercenary. She's suffering the aftershocks of battle. Captain, two places I've seen that look. Healer's tents and exceptional brothels. This is neither. Shoti lifts her chin in interest. She blinks at me as if seeing me for the first time. Wait, you're not the reinforcements. There, there are supposed to be reinforcements. A tide of panic is rising behind her eyes.
It's okay. Hazanui Karu sent me to find out what happened here. What's the Navy for if not pulling good soldiers out of a bad situation? Apologina nods, the corner of her mouth turning to a faint grin. Takehu folds his arms and watches carefully. Onakaza gave the order, I say. Let the Kahanga share the credit. Hmm. Takehu aims me an admonishing look. Maya pinches the bridge of her nose. If she hears Takehu, she gives no indication. But my assurance seems to have calmed her. She gives me a quick, stiff salute, crossing her forearms over her chest. Then you'll want my report. Yes. As she lowers her arms to her sides, the trembling in her hands stops. The first thing was the Colossus. It showed up a, a few days ago, a week ago. I, I can't be sure. The Colossus, so... You were... Did you see Aethys? But it was huge. Glowed like luminous Audra. Her eyes start to glaze over again. She stares into the distance, her mouth slightly open. Her wounded companion, meanwhile, is staring suspiciously at the farmers. They shrink from his gaze. That was Aethys. That monster that killed our people? Yes, he's done so to many others. I told you, Zahira. The God Hammer scrambled their god, and now he's taking his revenge. The soldier looks pointedly at the huddled farmers. They look away, cheeks flushed and brows perspiring. Our gods are above petty motivations like revenge. Now, Gon's got a bigger plan for you and me. Oh, I don't know about that. <sighs> Shoti, you're a little naive. Takehu pinches his lower lip and smiles. Pelagino's feathers ruffle as she lets out a faint sigh. But I don't know, I don't think I agree with what they the soldier said either. Hmm. Let's say nothing. It's no coincidence your Aethus shows up just as Latharn storms out. Casts a poisonous glare at the farmers. But Zurira is stuck in her memories. The Colossus was coming right for us. Fleetmaster Co. ordered the gunhawks and cannoneers to take up positions. We She catches herself. Breaking off with an ashamed grimace. They. They fought. The rest of us were sent below. Like cowards. She looks down at her hands, which she has balled into trembling fists. Focus. What did the Colossus do then? She steals herself. I heard cannon blasts, artillery fire. Felt the world shake. Then the water started coming in. We came back up, and the others were... I don't know. Like they'd been turned to ash. Hmm. And the Colossus was walking away. The fort was flooding, where it had broken our walls, and the luminous Audra in the lighthouse had gone dark. Where is this lighthouse? On the western side of the fort. It's a true marvel, a monument to Rawatayan engineering. Proof we can tame and transform this place, once we get rid of the scale bellies. You mean the Naga? Scale bellies? The Naga. Her hands start to tremble again. She tries to cover it with the other. They skulked in after, once our walls were down. He scowls. Those of us who were left fought. But those cowards moved through the sunken hallways. Ambushed us from below. <laughs> and those of you who survived ended up here. Both Zuhira and the Anger Soldier look away in shame. Those snakes are little more than animals. No match for trained Rawatayan warriors. He snorts. When the Hazanui's reinforcements get here, we'll strike back. He trails off, his gaze distant at the scenarios of bloody vengeance, no doubt playing in his mind's eye. And build our walls back up so nothing gets through. And double our cannons, so we can destroy that Colossus if it ever comes back. Hmm. Who are you? Zahira, assistant quartermaster. She crosses her arms over her chest in a perfunctionary salute. I is there anything else? Who's this Lathar Latharn, and what do you have against these farmers? Dawn stars. <laughs> he coughs a wad of bloody phlegm onto the floor. Fleetmaster Co. hired them to tend the fields that supply the mainland, but they started acting strange, dreaming strange. You mean dreaming of things to come? 
One of them, Latharin, had a row with the Fleetmaster over it, left angry just before the Colossus showed up. Zuhira and the soldiers glare at the farmers as if this explains everything. They're stuck here too, and they're obviously scared. Be kinder to them. Zuhira theme seems to consider my words, but the wounded soldier shakes his head. Thoughtful, Shoti rubs a knuckle along the edge of her jaw. I think they're praying call it here, getting back at us for the god hammer. Even if not, they definitely know something. He practically spits at the farmers. Spitting at our god? You ought to fear for the future of your soul. Hmm. So this is a fortress. Surely you've got some way of fighting the Naga. She bristles. The finest cannons and bombards in the archipelago. Why, you can barely walk the ramparts without... without... As she remembers the destruction outside, her indignation fades away, and that distant look returns to her eyes. There's still one. There must be one. Th they can't all have been destroyed. But you'll need a trained artillerist to aim it. She nods, pulling herself back from the brink of panic. The big guns and me are on friendly terms already, Captain. Maya strikes a salute and grins. Thoughtful, Shoti rubs a knuckle along the edge of her jaw. Alright, farewell. Don't go back out there. You'll be safe here until reinforcements arrive. Her throat makes a dry, clicking sound as she swallows. Just stay away from the water. Damn scale bellies are hiding down there. They'll ambush if you get close. Sometimes you can see them, if you look carefully. She stares off again, gazing at nothing. I'm a little concerned, though, with my ship here. They may try to take it. I've heard of them scrambling over the, s the size of the ship and onto the decks. 